about being a professional player. The first memory I have from tennis is watching on TV when Nadal won the French Open for the first time. I remember thinking I want to be on the big stage one day playing. That's where the first motivation came. I'm not very typical Norwegian. I didn't do a lot of things that my friends did when they grew up. When you're from a big, big country, tennis country like the States, they have hundreds of young players and many, many big talents. It can be tough to get the help you need. But I was very well taken care of by the Federation and my father got more involved when I turned, you know, eight, nine, ten years old. From a young age, they kind of accepted that I was a player and they kind of maybe listened more to me than other kids who were listening to their, their parents, which maybe didn't play tennis. That made it a lot easier to be like a father and, and a coach. I think my father is you know, a very calm guy. He doesn't stress too much about anything. Off the court, he's a very nice person, I would say. And he takes care of his mother and father. I'm very proud of him being a very polite kid, actually. Looking back, breaking into the top 10 has been you know, a dream of mine. Monte Carlo and Madrid were game changer for me and gave me obviously confidence to keep going and thinking, you know, I can compete with the best players on the biggest stages in the world. Unfortunately, it didn't go as well as I hoped in the Roland Garros. That was, you know, a very tough and bitter loss in the end in the fifth set. But at the same time, it gives me motivation and builds up, you know, motivation to come back. The three weeks where I won back to back to back were so fun and something I will always remember. The third one was remarkable because it was like the third one in a row, but all of them tasted as good as the other ones. <laughs> After those three weeks, I was in contention to make the Nitto ATP Finals in Turin. Every week mattered, every match mattered, and it was a very exciting fall. And I enjoy playing on clay. I just think that my game style suits the surface better because ball bounces up a little bit more and my spin shots are kind of heavier on the clay because it's tougher for the opponent. I'm always trying to evolve as a player and become a better player, so it's good for me to play on hard court. I think reaching a quarterfinal in Grand Slam, it's safe to say that that will be a goal. Everyone's dream is to win a Grand Slam, and uh, that's of course our dream also. I have seven players in front of me that are, you know, ridiculously good tennis players. Let's see in five years who has some slams and who doesn't, but if I have one, I will obviously be extremely happy. <laughs>